almost 15 billion miles. This is the gigantic distance that now gapes between NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft and our blue home planet. In history, only one other unmanned spacecraft has managed to travel as far into space, and that was Voyager 2. Sent on their journeys in the late 1970s, the probes still regularly provide earthly researchers with valuable new findings. But how is it that the Voyager mission, launched over four decades ago, continues to this day? What knowledge did the probe's mission bring us? And what about the mysterious plasma movements that Voyager 2 detected in interstellar space a few years ago? Together with you, today we'll take a closer look at one of the greatest success stories of space travel. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and unique missions of space agencies on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on by giving us a thumbs up. You're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Voyager Program The year is 1977, when NASA's Voyager probes set off into the gigantic expanses of space. As is well known, the two unmanned spacecraft are still in space 45 years after their launch, where they are currently making close contact with the farthest reaches of the solar system. A look at the original goals of the large-scale research mission, however, shows that no one in the 1970s could have predicted that the Voyager program would become the longest-lived space mission of all time. At the time that the two spacecraft left our earthly home, our knowledge of the outer reaches of our planetary system was still quite sparse. The deliberately broad mission goals, therefore, included studying the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn, a geological analysis of the moons, exploring different magnetic fields, and gathering knowledge regarding the composition and distribution of particles and plasma. And initially, everything went to plan. Voyager 1 reached the realms of Jupiter and Saturn and their natural satellites, where it performed detailed measurements and transmitted countless images toward our blue home planet. The data collected at that time elevated our knowledge knowledge of the mighty Jupiter and the iconic ringed planet to an entirely new level. Not only did it succeed in detecting several previously unknown moons of Saturn, but it also revealed that its planet's ring is in fact not homogeneous, but a complex system of thousands of individual orbits. The mission also made experts aware that Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, has its own ring system. But in addition to the countless findings, the Voyager probes succeeded in taking some breathtaking pictures. Although these had no scientific use worth mentioning, they still have absolute cult status in the meantime. These include the so-called family portrait of our planetary system. The photo mosaic shows six planets of the solar system in color. The photo that became known as the pale blue dot also hit the headlines. It's still the photograph that shows our blue home planet taken from the greatest distance and from a distance of four billion miles. Further mission progress. While Voyager 1 continued on its way, toward interstellar space after exploring Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2's exploration path held several other stops already. By the time the probe reached Uranus in 1985, it had already been in space for eight years, which at the time was twice its originally predicted lifetime. This passage also held some novel discoveries. Ten more moons of Uranus were detected during the exploration. Although four years later, on August 26, 1989, Voyager 2 passed Neptune at a distance of about 3,000 miles. Meanwhile, more than 9,000 images of the bluish shimmering ice giant were taken and transmitted to Earth. The rings orbiting the celestial body were also discovered for the first time by Voyager 2. The magnetic field measurements in turn revealed that this field is in fact much weaker than the experts had assumed in the run-up to the mission. While nine previously unknown Neptune satellites were added to the star charts, the previously discovered Triton became the focus of scientific interest. While the moon's diameter had previously Previously been estimated to be as large as 3,000 miles, Voyager 2 proved that it was actually about 1,500 miles. In addition, the surface of the satellite hardly showed any craters, but rather presented a rippled face. The characteristic brown-white coloration of the celestial body 
was traced back to volcanic activities. Geysers catapult gigantic amounts of liquid nitrogen into the air, where it partially freezes out and falls back onto the surface in the form of a white nitrogen snow. Departure into the Unknown After the successful Neptune passage, it was also time for Voyager 2 to follow its sister probe into the far reaches of the solar system and beyond. The overall goal of this interstellar mission involves detailed exploration of the outermost regions of the solar system as well as the surrounding interstellar space. Interstellar space, meanwhile, is the far from star region of space within a galaxy. The matter and the radiation and magnetic fields caused by its dynamics in interstellar space are called interstellar medium by experts. Its most important components include dust and, above all, gases in ionized, atomic, and molecular form. Between 2002 and 2003, Voyager 1 approached the helio envelope. This is the large outer region of the heliosphere. The heliosphere is the large region around the sun where the solar wind and its magnetic fields are active. In the heliosphere, the particle stream of the sun mixes with the interstellar matter whereby the particles of the solar wind move with reduced flow velocity. Voyager 1 reached the boundary region of the helio envelope in December 2004, and researchers became aware of this because of the extreme slowing of the solar wind and the sudden change in magnetic field direction. The data collected by the probe's magnetometer also indicated that a strong magnetic field exists outside the solar system. In the course of this realization, the central question of why the local interstellar cloud does not dissipate could also be answered. It is strongly magnetized and consequently held together. In 2010, there were increasing signs that Voyager 1 was getting closer and closer to the heliopause. In 2012, the time had come. The probe had transmitted that the anomalous cosmic rays dropped sharply, while the galactic cosmic rays rose rapidly, a clear sign that Voyager 1 had left the heliosphere and consequently reached the heliopause. As of February 27, 2022, Voyager 1 is about 15 billion miles from Earth. Finally, on November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 also entered interstellar space. Its distance from the Sun is currently 12 billion miles. Currently, researchers assume that radio contact with the two spacecraft will break off around the year 2036. However, this still does not mark the end of the spacecraft's journey. Barring any unforeseen event, Voyager 1 will pass the star Gliese 445 in about 40,000 years. In the even more distant future, 225 million years from now, the probe would have completed a distance equivalent to circling the center of the Milky Way. Mysterious Plasma Movements When Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of our solar system as the first of the two space probes, its advance into interstellar space was accompanied by a scientific bummer. Its instrument for measuring plasma was no longer intact at that point. Fortunately, the corresponding payload of the identical Voyager 2 was still fully functional. However, a detailed examination of the collected data presented astronomers with a new cosmic mystery. The analyses suggest that another, unknown layer exists between the Sun's heliosphere and interstellar space. Thus, these newly discovered boundary layers suggest that the transition from the solar system to interstellar space is not clearly cut off, but rather has a step-like structure. Outside this newly traced zone, researchers in turn caught another, much thicker layer in which interstellar plasma flows into the heliosphere. As a result of these unexpected movements, the plasma density there increases 20-fold in an area that extends over billions of miles. All these circumstances indicate that something exists in the corresponding region that literally compresses the plasma. The problem is that the scientists do not know what it could be. In order to find out what's behind this exciting discovery and how the peripheral regions of the solar system are structured, further research missions are essential. For example, experts are planning to send more space probes to the outermost zones of the solar system in the future in order to explore its boundaries in an even more revealing way. Now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the exciting Voyager program, which has kept both experts and laymen enthralled for over 40 years? And what is your opinion about the mysterious discovery Voyager 2 made in interstellar space? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. 
Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.